So this level impressed me quite a bit the first time I played it, but it's also quite different. Probably not the kind of thing you'd expect to see in a LEGO game. It's exciting and new and fun, but it does break away from the traditional LEGO formula quite a lot. You're only playing as these two characters, you really don't use any of their unique puzzle-solving abilities, almost everything is done with these rolling balls. Using the momentum to turn gears, to press switches, to uh, activate various mechanisms. And granted, Traveler's Tales does have some experience with the Super Monkey Ball games, but I don't think that's what this was inspired by. I think they were just struck by inspiration to make something a little different this time around. And when things get a little different, it can be really exciting, but also really confusing. Like, you're used to doing the same thing the same way for so long, especially in a game like LEGO, that when something like this comes along, uh, along you may not quite be sure what exactly you're doing, might feel a little lost, but you do know that you're excited, that this is something new you haven't experienced yet. Like leaving for two weeks to go to someone's house and then to a convention shortly afterward. And you know, while you're gone at that convention, you learn some things about yourself, about your personal tastes, about your desires, about how you react to new environments. Like, maybe things that were huge problems in an environment you're used to aren't such problems anymore now that you've changed environments. For example, maybe in the new rolling ball environment, your problem with overeating is not a problem anymore. And you start to think, that's weird, I used to eat all the time back in my original environment where things were the way I was used to them being, how come I'm not overeating anymore? And then you think, maybe that's because this new rolling ball environment is giving me some kind of emotional validation that previously I could only fill with food, and that's why I don't feel the need to eat so much anymore. And this change of scenery thrusting you into this rolling ball environment puts a lot of other things into perspective too, like... Maybe previously you didn't realize how important it is to be loved, respected, and supported by someone who's physically near you, in person. But now that you have that, you realize how important that is, and it makes everything else seem kind of small by comparison. Like, now that you have someone near you to love and support you and recognize your unique identities and love you for who you are, regardless of who that is... You know, now you suddenly don't feel the urge to eat so much garbage anymore, or fill the void in your soul with unhealthy things. And you still feel like shit, but you feel like a loved shit, which is a big improvement. And it's a lot easier to ignore hard things or put them aside whenever you're, whenever you're loved like that. It's so much easier. Because you feel like you have support, finally from someone that really understands and respects you and your sisters in spite of your various mental illnesses and other conditions. It's a good time. But, you know, eventually you have to go back. You can't stay in rolling ball land forever. You're only there to visit and go to a convention. And then you gotta go back. And going back is hard and sudden. And now things are back to normal. And you know, okay, you're used to this, you're used to these feelings, but... Did they always feel this bad before? And then you're like, yeah, they did. You did actually feel this bad before, you just weren't prepared to go back to it, exactly. And it's not all bad, because there is some comfort in familiarity, but... There's a kind of feeling missing and being accepted the way you were back in Rolling Ball Land, that you're just not getting here, but you're trying. But that transition from Rolling Ball Land back to the way things used to be, it really is something. Like, it's stuff you felt you were long used to, but you didn't realize how bad it was exactly until you got back to it. 
And now you just want to go back to Rolling Ball Land. But Rolling Ball Land isn't perfect either. It has its own problems and makes you exhausted in its own ways. It's just that you weren't in Rolling Ball Land as long as you were in the place you're used to. So no place is perfect, and you got to make the best of where you are regardless of where that is exactly. And sometimes that's harder than others, but in both Rolling Ball Land and outside of Rolling Ball Land, things could be a lot worse. But right now you're just transitioning, you know? You've just made a lot of discoveries about yourself and your life and who you are and how your environment affects yourself as a person. So now it's time to heal. It's time to time to process. You're still in a transitional period right now. You just got back from Rolling Ball Land. You need time. You need time to ease back into the way things are, and you need time to introspect, to unpack all this stuff you learned about yourself. And yeah, I mean, sometimes transitions are awkward and jarring and startlingly brief, but they're necessary. You can't just ignore that you're going through a transition, or you can't get to the part where you introspect. You have to acknowledge what's going on. And even though transitions are messy, they do get over with eventually. You've got to get used to it. You've got to become accustomed to your environment. Both in Rolling Ball Land and when you leave Rolling Ball Land. And at first things outside of Rolling Ball Land may seem the same as before, but they're not. Don't fool yourself. You're armed with new knowledge this time. And with new knowledge, you have the power to create new experiences. It's not the same anymore. 